Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 16 laptop. The exact model is a Dell Inspiron 16 5620. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for your laptop. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or just discharging really quickly, then you might want to replace your battery. And I'll give you a nice tip how to keep your battery in the best performance state once in a while and you should do that once every two or three months all right by doing a battery replacement or removal you're not going to lose any files or any data on your hard drive it's going to be all the same you're just pretty much replacing a battery you know, there's no extra configuration that you need to do all you want to do you want to make sure you power off the laptop close up the screen in this case i'll put out another workshop tile on the bottom you want to flip it upside down and down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws and we're going to get ourselves the screwdriver set. I recommend you guys that I fix the screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We are going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with some tweezers, some opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're going to get it started. There is a whole bunch of screws down here. All these screws are the same size and height, except two screws that they do not come out. So we're gonna leave these two screws that they, we're not gonna remove. We're gonna leave it for the last. So these two corner back by the hinges, we're gonna leave them. We're gonna remove the one in the back mid, side, and the front row of the laptop. Go ahead and remove them, keep them in one pile as they are the same. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we left these two screws for the last, the reason is that we don't remove them or they don't come out entirely is because they have something called a C-lock on the other side of the screw. Now, the C-lock has a purpose. The purpose of the C-lock is to hold to the screw and it will push the cover away from in the palm rest as soon as we start rotating. So watch out for this line right in here and you're gonna see a cover pushing itself away. And there we go, you see that push? And we're gonna rotate and then we hear that click sound that we, we just head to the end of the thread. Same thing in here, we're gonna rotate and there we go we see that opening once we have that opening the rest is really simple all you want to do is grab the opening tool put it right in there about two or three millimeters not the whole thing and what you want to do you just want to rotate with this motion we just want to peeling it off you want to hear some click sound that's what you want to hear those click sounds those are the clips that are getting loose you want to do the side move towards the front same thing in the front break those clicks and do the left and right side pretty much. There we go. Now you're gonna feel a little tension in the middle. The reason that there's a tiny hook in the middle that holds from the rod. So what you wanna do, you wanna bring it up and you wanna just wiggle it around and pull it up and it will release this tiny hook that holds from right here, from this metal rod that has a little neck, bottleneck right on top. All right, now that we can see inside of the laptop, you can see right away there's a nice battery right in here. This is a Dell 54 watt hour battery standard. The model for the battery is a V6W33 15 volt battery. To remove this battery, first we're gonna disconnect it. There's a two way of disconnecting it. People, they can disconnect it from here, but I don't like disconnecting it from there. I'll leave this for the last. We're going to disconnect it from the motherboard, which is the easiest one. You want to put your fingers at the side of the jack on the bottom where the tape finishes. You want to feel tiny hooks by your fingernails. And then you want to just pull it back, slide it back. And that's how it comes out. And then just bring it out, put it in here. And we're going to remove it from here. Let me see what kind of hook they have in here. In here, they have a tiny hook that it goes over. So you want to use a plastic in here. You want to unhook it and you want to push this plastic a little back. Slide it back about two millimeters backward. 
and this hook will come out pretty easy. So you can see the positive and negative tab and the sensor temp pad right in there. All right, to put it back on, you want to bring it down straight inside the tab and lay it down. And you want to just push it over like that. To remove the battery, you want to remove one, two, three, four, five screws. They are labeled with M2. So go ahead and remove these screws. The screws are actually uh, Phillips number one. Once you remove all these screws, then you can actually grab the battery, bring it up. You have to lift up the front end, bring it up, and slide it a little back with the tiny hook that will not prevent that. And there's your battery. There's a one, two, three, four cell battery. So there we go. Get the new one, remove this cable, plug it to the new battery, run the cable through the cells right there, and get the new one, put it right on top, make sure the screw holes match, and there we have it. And put the screws right over. This is a brand new battery, so there's no reason for me to change it. If you don't want to remove the battery for the CMOS battery, for the BIOS battery, that's this one right over here. This CMOS battery, there's a tiny, same thing, you just pull it back. Oh, you guys can't see that one. I'll bring it here. This is a CMOS battery, it has a little adhesive tape right to it. So you can purchase them, there's a model number. And connector just comes back out, get the new one, pop it in, and that's for your CMOS battery. All right, once you have the, all the screws in, you want to make sure the jack goes inside the connector straight in. Don't put it sideways in, always straight in. All right. Now, once that one is in, all you want to do is just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, push the corner front end to the sides and the metal. Don't press the corner backs because first you want to tighten up the screw and the screw will pull the cover to itself. That one was the Phillips number zero. And that will pull the cover. And if you see that it didn't pull the cover all the way in and there's a tiny gap, you just want to pinch it and it will close. Same thing here, pinch them, makes a nice click sound and that's it. Same thing, the one on the left side. There we go. And the last thing to finish it up is to put the rest of the screw on the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just remember, for the once you have the new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off and connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours while it's off. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected, and you want to drain the battery slowly with a brightness of 50 or 20, and let it drain it slowly. Once the battery is drained down to 30, 20%, you want to power it off and plug into the charging while it's off for another four to five hours. After four to five hours, then you can power on the way you wish, connected or without connecting it, and use the application that you need. This initial charge and discharge, it is really important for the new batteries, and you should be doing this process once every two or three months. And that should cover up this video. Thanks for watching.